All right, there's new research that may further prove that love is the best medicine. I like that. A study published this week shows that married people with cancer have a higher chance of surviving than those who are unmarried. So how exactly were they able to come to this conclusion? Right, so, so this is actually building on a number of, of research studies that we've had out in the last 10 to 15 years, which showed that people who are married uh, have better health overall. They tend to live longer, um, have a, a greater life expectancy, um, you know, in, in a number of, against a number of illnesses. Right. And cancer is the latest one. Now, so researchers in California looked at about 800,000 people, uh, data from 800,000 people over the course of nine years, uh, they found that men who were married, who were diagnosed with cancer, had a 27 uh, percent greater chance of surviving it, and women who were married had a 19 percent greater chance of surviving cancer than their single counterparts. Um, now, what's, what's interesting is that we've known that marriage has these uh, health benefits, but we don't exactly know why. You know, one idea is, of course, there's an emotional support system, but the other idea is that there are also tangible things, like uh, married people tend to have a greater combined income. Married people are more likely to have health insurance. So the researchers in this case wanted to know why. What, what is giving these health benefits? And it seems that it has to do with the companionship, with the support itself, rather than the money, rather than the health insurance or mm. the income. The, um, I mean, there are chemicals that are released into the body when we fall in love and when we are in love. Uh, and you do hear stories of people who die of broken hearts. Right. You know, you hear right. these, you know, World War II veterans, and one dies and then three months later the other one dies. Is it possible, and perhaps we don't even understand it even with science and medicine, that love is able to at least heal us in some way. Right. You know, I, I, I think it, it just, we can just say the body and mind really are one. Mm -hmm. um, and from a physiologic perspective, we know that companionship can lower stress, less stress lowers inflammation, and less inflammation lowers our risk of things like heart disease, stroke, cancer, our top killers. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I do think it's important to point out with studies like this, it's not the marriage license itself that is healing people, right? right? right. We see a good marriage. Yeah, <laughs> Just have a marriage it, license on the wall. No, and no. Keep the cancer away. No, it's much more about having that support system, about having close relationships. So people who are single can, of course, you know, we assume enjoy the same benefits, whether you have uh, family, friends, romantic relationships that just don't have a marriage license on it. I think that's unlikely to matter. It's really about having people to support you and, and get you through the challenges in life. I'm thinking of all those studies with uh, pets that say, you know, lower your heart rate, yeah. lower your I blood know. pressure all of that same kind of thing companionship dr holly thank you great to be here cbs news health watch presented by cancer treatment centers of america